Hi, good afternoon. Uh, I'm Nias Faruqi from Helix Semiconductors. Uh, I'll be demonstrating our MXC300-310 uh, transformerless solution for a 65-watt AC-DC adapter. Uh, so we what we have here is we are showing our uh, uh, AC-DC conversion, the transformerless. Uh, uh, we have three demos here, so I'll be showing demo number one is our voltage conversion. So we have uh, 85 volts DC coming in. Uh, we are using uh, our uh, modulator, power modulator and demodulator to go convert uh, 85 volts down, uh, go send it across the uh, transformerless barrier to uh, to another, our uh, Helix MXC300, uh, which down converts it an AC voltage back to DC and then down converts it to 12 volts. So what we are uh, showing is uh, 85 volts coming in and then uh, 12 volts coming out at uh, 250 milliamps. Um, the second demo is our MUX capacitor technology, which is our core technology. Um, we are we were showing is the same voltage, 85 volts coming in, into our MXC300, uh, 310 side, which is the primary side, uh, which down converts it by a factor of two, uh, and gives us uh, about uh, 47 volts, uh, roughly uh, uh, divide by two. Uh, and the third demo is our uh, the communication protocol that we have developed, uh, uh, which is uh, SPI to I2C communication, where we uh, can uh, program the chip, can uh, um, can configure it. There's a micro, there's a state machine built, designed in a uh, custom state machine that can uh, detect faults, can uh, uh, transfer the uh, the data that uh, that is that we uh, try to write on the chip. Uh, so what we are demoing here is. Uh, our uh, test control register settings, uh, our system status, which is uh, at the moment it is in uh, regulation. So we have uh, multiple states here where we can go into the OTP. Uh, we have one-time programmability feature here. We have soft start. We have reset states. So this uh, state machine, uh, this uh, graphical interface gives us uh, indication of uh, what is the status of, uh, of the register, what is the status of both chips, either the 310 or the 310. Side. So we have pull-down menus, which can where we can uh, call it, uh, call each chip on either side and uh, configure it. Uh, we can uh, detect faults, uh, overcurrent, over temperature, and brownouts, um, and the register settings. Uh, you know, we have uh, control over the register settings, uh, the soft start, uh, different clock rates for the MUX capacitor, for the modulator. Uh, we can uh, enable, disable uh, the fault detectors, uh, and then uh, so we are de de basically demonstrating the read-write feature. Uh, that uh, we can communicate with the chip, uh, write a register, and the, uh, read the read the register back. So the chip configures in a certain state that we want. So this allows us to evaluate the, evaluate the chip, allows our customers to evaluate the chip uh, rapidly, and this becomes a building block for us to develop patterns for production testing. Um, and we are. Uh, we're getting uh, boards uh, prepared at the moment uh, for shipment, for evaluation purposes for to our customers. Uh, we have uh, UL testing, uh, we have uh, temperature testing, and uh, UL safety testing that is uh, planned out. Some of the some of uh, some of the testing has already been done. We will be sharing the, those results. Uh, uh, Harold Blomquist, our CEO, will be sharing the results with the industry on Thursday, uh, Thursday afternoon at uh, at the convention floor. Um, uh, we'll be discussing uh, the touch current that we have been measuring on the transformerless uh, capacitors. Um, that uh, concludes my presentation. Thank, thank you for listening.